so hello everyone uh, welcome to another video so uh, in this video i will be giving an introduction to etching and uh, where i will be telling about the different about the different classes of etching and how uh, and how it takes place so yeah so let's get started with it so etching can be divided into two types one is the uh, wet etching other is plasma etching can't use wet etching for all those materials so some materials like sic gan tic and diamond cannot be wet etched so they have to be plasma etched so you need to be you need actually this says that you need to decide on what etching you need like different materials have different etching so based on that you need to decide what etching and like what you need to use to etch all these things so also if it cannot be removed with plasma etching then you have to go for iron milling or iron beam etching has to be done so then there are three processes that must take place for etching to proceed so first is the transport of etch into surface second is surface reaction and third is the removal of product species from the uh, surface of of the material you are going to etch so if etching doesn't happen then it means that something has happened in any of these two processes so what could have happened so one reason could be like transport could be prevented or or reduced for instance by a by a thick boundary layer or maybe a native oxide from the previous step could retard or prevent etching or the products may be volatile or soluble enough and they can read redeposit on on your wafer so so even some gas bubbles which are formed can also prevent your surface from further etching so any of the things that can uh, happen in these three process would be the reason why your etching is not happening so yeah that's the thing and then etching can take place in two ways one is isotropic etching and another is anisotropic etching so first one what is isotropic etching isotropic means that the rate of removal of material does not depend on the orientation of the surface so your surface has a different orientation rate like 111 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11. like so it doesn't depend on or your etching doesn't depend on your orientation of the substrate so that is called isotropy that means it etches everywhere where you want to so mostly isotropic etching is by wet etching so so this is how it happens so you can see in the first figure see that like spherical spherical so 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 the, when you apply the chemical on top of your uh, substrate so this will be a mask this gray thing you're seeing is the mask so you want to perfectly like this white part you can see in the bottom figure right so this is what you want to get a perfect rectangle rectangle shape of your edge or you want to have a perfectly rectangular part so in that case uh, when when you're doing an isotropic edge sometimes because you are because this because one one of the main things in isotropic edge is that so as this isotropic edge proceeds as a spherical wave train from all the points because of this and under cutting can happen see it can also go below the mask that is what so you, you although you are looking for just a rectangle you will get more than that so that is also one of the disadvantage of that and what, what you can actually do is that already you know that your more will edge so you make your mask actually if you want a bigger one then you make your mask like your your opening smaller so you'll get a, you ultimately you, you can just design your experiments as that you get a bigger one like that so isotropic etching takes by spherical wavefront having undercut below the mask so so that's what happens so it actually goes as in a spherical manner the etching proceeds in that manner and then you will get the uh, shapes like this so you can get like this so next is anisotropic etching it's, it is the etching with orientation dependent your orientation is dependent like like this is for example this is i am giving an example of a silicon so you have one zero zero plane so so 
so if some people don't know what one zero zero plane or one 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 plane or one one zero plane it just means a one zero zero plane means that you are cutting your x-axis at one like this is the one zero zero plane so that plane so one one zero is that means you're cutting the x and the y at one one and that your plane is just going straight in that direction so one 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 will be like cutting both x y and z axis that plane so yeah so most people will be knowing that so i'm just uh I'm just giving it for people who actually don't know it so 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 here what happens so anisotropic etching means that so instead of actually etching this one 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 also it is etching one zero zero more so it is like selectively etching based on the orientation so that is called anisotropic so in this example of anisotropic etching what happens is so so you the mechanism is de depend then on the bond structure of the atoms so you see 110 and 110 100 and 110 planes have atoms with two bonds directed back into the crystals and two bonds that must somehow dangle with unfulfilled valence atoms in 111 plane however have three bonds directed back into the crystal and one bond so that so what does that mean so ultimately it means that 110 plane is more tightly bound than 100 or 110 plane so that's why when you are etching mostly it's a wet etching so also anisotropic etching also so these things i will talk in the second part of my and third part of my video so i didn't want to put more information on this so, so ultimately what happens is when you're doing an as wet etching or anything your your etching proceeds based on your orientation so if you are orientation, some orientation will be more easier to edge, some will be less easier to edge. That's all that is there in this video. So thank you for watching this video. So if you like the video, please do uh, subscribe. And so there will be also part two and part three of this video. So yeah, that's all. Thank you.